We are flying in from Asgard because there are some new milestones in Marvel Strike Force. Are these good? Are these bad? We're going to discuss the positives and negatives with my brother, Goofy Rexy. And if you're ready for it, Goofy, tell him what to do, my friend. Let's go spend to get those high roller milestones. Pally flying. Oh, what is up, Valley Maniacs? I am Valley Flying. Welcome back. We are back in studio. And we're discussing these milestones in Marvel Strike Force. We've been waiting for these for a while. They're finally introduced yesterday. And if this is your first time here, guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that uh, notification bell for more great Marvel Strike Force content. But without further ado, let me introduce my partner in crime, Goofy Rexy. How are you? We're back. We were back. You're not in the studio today, but you were back on the channel. Welcome, my friend. It is always good to have you. Hey, what's going on, man? I had to fix my hat. I was like, ah, this looks a little crooked. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. No worries. So, yes, we got some new milestones in Marvel Strike Force. There's some good things. There's some bad things about it. We're going to discuss it all. So let's just go jump right into the game yeah. to discuss these. Now, the, let's discuss the elephant in the room. When we've had milestones in the past, these, these milestones, some of them have had characters with it. Captain yeah. Marvel, Coulson, uh, Symbiote Spider-Man, and most recently, Emma Frost. There are no gold milestone characters associated with this uh with these new milestones so what is what is what are your yeah. thoughts on that does that you think that is a beneficial thing to uh, not let us to be like hey we could spend our gold because there's no milestone character that we have to hoard and save for or do you think this is negative because we're not also getting a new character where where are you on this one i lack trust i got trust issues whoa Wait, whoa that's the drake that's the drake song <laughs> just, just um for those drake listeners but listen, I, right. just, I don't i don't trust them raising the gold milestones uh, to, the higher milestones to be a little bit higher because i feel as if though you spend your goal and then all of a sudden they just hit you with we're gonna release a character with a gold milestone now i don't trust them and also milestones the, the rewards aren't that good <laughs> the reward the rewards aren't that good but yeah there's, there's no characters so i don't i don't I kind of uh, think that's a bad thing. I'd rather have an awesome character. I mean, when Kestrel was announced, Silver Surfer was announced, like, oh, that's the next gold milestone character, but they got released in a different yeah. way. So I think we're done with gold milestone characters. I think that's what this means. Is that is, Does that make you sad? Are, are you kind of reminiscent about the days of getting that Captain Marvel and Coulson and Spider-Man? Or, or, or is that too restrictive for you? It's, I think a lot of, for those who, who follow the Goofy channel and watch the Goofy streams, you guys know how much I don't like spending gold because it makes me cringe. Like whenever whenever I go over that like 1.2 million threshold, I'm like, yeah, oh, God, <laughs> what, have I done? what have I done? OK, all right. So so you can you can feel a little better because there's no gold yeah. milestone character that you have to hoard for. So yeah. th from that perspective, it's a good thing. <laughs> Right. I like I like getting characters, but I, there's other release methods that are probably a little more friendly. This one this one does take a while. You do get a, a bunch of shards uh, from if they're repeating these three times, but it takes a long time to get those shards. So yeah, uh, yeah. I guess I guess it's a good thing they're moving out. Very weird thing though here when we go to this left pillar here, on the on the two percent rewards we now we have this uh, four elite shard uh red star thing i think that's a wash i think that's the same thing yeah we have this this is new we have our t1 orbs we have our t2 orbs we have our t3 orbs in fact it closes this. there it is there's a t3 orb so these are the changed ones and then we have the gold training mats and premiums that we had yeah. previously do you like have you been opening these orbs do you do you like these new t1 t2 t3 mats or do you prefer the old ability uh orb yeah, when I get them every eight days or so in the game, because that's what it seems like. When you, when you, when you get them, now, when I get them every eight days, uh, I'm like, ah, I'll open up a T3 one and get more T3s, which are supposed to also land T4s. That doesn't happen once in a while. Really has well. a T4s if if you're yeah. really lucky. All yeah, right, so but, you know, every eight days or so, you know, I guess I feel, oh, this is a new orb to open. All right, so we we get some of these, but the weird thing is, in this 93% drop rate, which is what people are going to be pulling most of the time. Yeah. Some of the training mats, the gold, the premiums. But what is what is this? It says ability orb fragments, but I thought I thought this was an obsolete orb that was supposed to be removed from the game. It's still in the game. 
They're still giving it out. What? what why? Why? Why, Goofy? <laughs> They, you know what? They're pulling the fast one. They wanted to see whether or not we were going to catch it. And that's, that's, that's mm -hmm. what it was. I, they wanted to see it. This makes no sense, Scopely. You said we were supposed to open up all of these orbs because you're going to be going away with them. And then you haven't taken them out of the game. Even worse, you've now put them in the milestone orb. And look, you know what they did? They copied and pasted. They copied and pasted the code. That's what they did. They forgot to take it. <laughs> they copied and pasted. I think, I think your assessment is exactly right, Goofy. I don't, I think they missed this. They're like, oh, let's just copy this. Oh, uh, I guess we should give out some of the new ones. And then the person <laughs> that was supposed to do it for this this pillar right here, they, they totally dropped the ball on that one. So this is a little weird. I guess this is kind of a wash, though. There's some there's some good. There's yeah. some that's exactly the same. So let's call that a wash. Uh, let's go to the right pillar, though, because I think there's some better things in this. Uh, you got some abilities. L3s? Where, where's the orange ones of these? Why, did, yeah, why are they so about these L3s? Uh, we got some gears here. Uh, this this is all blue. That's not good. Right, so you got blue, purple, with the eight very low percent chance of getting this. And I like that there's a, these 15s in here. Um, yeah, nice. It, it seems like this is a little better. I mean, you still have a very high chance of getting purple and blue, but there's orange in there now. You get some abilities. The big thing here is this center pillar, though. Where are you getting yeah. these uh, shops? Let's go to these, uh, un these common shards that you can get from these characters. Uh, and and we'll get we'll get to Symbio Spider Man Emma, but there's there's some decent characters in this. I mean, it's, uh, if we if we go back and we'll compare this to the uh, Milestone Orb, the first one, not not as many good characters in there. This one at least is some characters that are that are either unfarmable or recently farmable. Beast, with, I think he was made farmable within the last six months. Bishop, yeah. not farmable right now. Uh, who else do we have here? I think Col Corvus was made within the past six months. Uh, Colson. Just uh, yeah. very recently, with the past few days, uh, who else do we have here? Domino, not farmable. She's in those. She's in those blitz orbs, but no real way to get shards for her. And she unlocks a legendary, so that's good. That's good. Uh, <laughs> Electro, I think, is a newer farmable character within the past six months. I could be remembering that incorrectly, though. Iceman just farmable within the past uh, few days. Gamora is there. Very yeah. easy character, though. I think she's the yeah. best character in the blitz store. I don't know. Ghost Ghost was made goes uh, farmable pretty early on, and you need her for a legendary well, unlock as well. Yeah. Hella, very very important character for earlier mid game players. I don't know how much this benefits uh, later game players, but I think this uh, having Hella in this as one of the characters uh, does benefit some of the earlier players. And as someone that has a mid game account, what what are your thoughts on having Hella available in this uh, orb here? Oh, incredible incredible honestly if you can if you can land some shards on her absolutely incredible she's so hard to get um because you have to for an earlier player especially if you're free to play unless if you're willing to spend money i guess you can get some hella shards but otherwise you have to wait till you get to level 70 before you can even get to her node to farm it so this is this is actually helpful for some earlier mid-game players here absolutely good yeah so so uh, yeah, and so so far we, have, we haven't gotten the controversial stuff, but so far it's either good or a wash. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, we got we got both the dad bros. We see long shot here. Shatterstar's also in this. Sinister, I believe, was in the past six months, but I don't remember that wrong. As I may be remembering that wrong as well. Uh, Moon Knight is not yeah. farmable. Nebula, I didn't realize she wasn't farmable. She just recently became farmable yeah. as well, part of that Infinity Watch team. Uh, Red Guardian is in that uh, arena store that advanced rate or that higher rate. So is Scream. There's the rest of the uh, dad bros combination they're completing. And White Tiger, not farmable. Yelena, recently farmable. Yo-Yo, recently farmable. Uh, Yellow Jacket and Zemo, I think, were in the past six months. So this is, a, I think, the orb itself, other than not having a, another uh, the gold milestone character, I think I think it's it's, it's beneficial. What, what are you thinking of? What, do, what are your thoughts on that orb specifically as I kind of just scroll through some of these... Uh, Uncommon charts, and we'll get back to we'll get back to uh, Symbiote, Spider Man, and Emma. But just looking at these characters, what are what are your thoughts on the orb overall? Um, the orb overall is okay. Um, in terms of the resources, it's really very similar uh, already to what was already there in the previous one. Um, the characters are better though. The characters that are in the in the Milestone Two orb are better. Uh, I didn't. I mean, I didn't. I, I did Sorry. not. I didn't, <laughs> did not want many of the characters that were in this orb right here. I just saw a, a line of ravagers in <laughs> I didn't know I'd forgot how many minions there were in this. Look at all of these minions. 
At least there's yeah. no minions in a new one. So, all right. So that part is better. Most of it is better. Let's talk about this part. The first controversial part. And you mentioned this. Uh, we, we did a video over in your channel coming at this from more than new player's perspective. And this is, this is where the controversial one is. Yeah. Uh, we, we talked about this on your channel. Which character would you rather have the shards for right now? Symbiote Spider-Man or Emma Frost? And and I'm, I'm, an as, I'm an asking this from the perspective of both of your accounts. Your higher, your more end game account and your mid game account that you have. Which which would you rather have? Well, so for both, for my end game account right now, my main account, I actually don't have both of the characters at seven stars. They're okay. both at six stars. Um, Very close to seven, but I actually don't mind either one of the or neither one of the shards okay. now from a mid game earlier perspective i feel that both characters are incredibly important but i think symbiote spider-man is even more important for a mid game player uh, because if you're going to be shooting to get to dark dimension 3 later on dark dimension 4 there really is no other city answer than the symbiote team and uh, being able to land shards for symbiote spider-man is incredibly incredibly important and the way that i look at this right now is you're you now have a less percentage chance i guess uh although to in fairness i feel like i previously i used to get more colson shards and i got more ssm shards so maybe same, I'm at it. same. it was weird the the, yeah. the 30 percent seemed to drop a little more than the 70 percent for me in the previous war but it, it, <laughs> that might have been sure. just that might have been just our two individual experiences <laughs> Yeah, or or that just might be more of our just thoughts, right? Maybe it's not actually real, but we just feel that way. Confirmation bias. We really yeah. wanted the symbiote. Awesome. Yeah, we really wanted the symbiote shard, so we we felt as if though we were getting more of the other one. But I don't I don't like this uh, aspect of it. I think symbiote Spider Man has been in this orb for a long time. I think it's that, and then the fact that all these other symbiotes are hard to get. AV yeah. premium orb stream nine hundred and seventy five arena credits. Carnage war store crowded um store the only character that's really easy to get or easier to get is venom and he's when you're a lot of the times whenever you're making a decision who do i take off the symbiote team it's venom so just this whole entire symbiote team just it seems just harder and harder to attain obtain and that's i don't like that for mid game players because i think now that there are other teams that are in the game uh, I I would like to see some more opportunities to get some shards for these characters. Uh, I think I think you're exactly right because they initially I, I and we talked about this previously. Initially I was like, oh this is good. I don't have Emma at seven stars. I could I could build her up. I already have some people spending at seven stars. I I could get less shards of him. It's cool. But thinking of it from that perspective, who would I rather if 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 one of these characters were deleted from a roster, what would hurt more? Uh, missing Emma would hurt less than missing Symbiote Spider-Man. Having Symbiote Spider-Man is it's a much more uh, character that I use on a daily basis. He's much more important to my overall roster. So, yeah, Symbiote Spider-Man is, uh, is is probably more important. So, that's a little bit of a wash, but we'll, we'll see how it actually ends up because I, I think I did get more Coulson charts even at that 30% rate than Symbiote Spider-Man. All right, so the orbs, they are what they are. There's some good, there's some bad. I think there's a lot, of, most of it is a wash. Uh, the other characters I think is better and then it's it depends on what you need for the symbiote spider-man and the Emma I'm not sure why these pictures aren't showing up right now But I guess the other controversial one is these high roller milestones And if we look at these very closely, we see a lot of good rewards at these early ends And then as you get to some of these other uh, Levels as you start to build this up it, it gets a little less and if you look at where the big drop off is, it's at this 2.3 million right here. That's where the these rewards get very, very minimal. And I think a lot of the players' were reaction was, wait, we're expected to spend 4 million gold a day instead of the 2.7 max that we had previously. I'm not sure if that's the correct perspective because a lot of the good rewards stop at this point. So I think they were designing it to stop at this point. What did what did you see when you saw this? Do you think that we're supposed to spend a lot of this gold? Or are these rewards better? Are these more beneficial for you? Or is this uh is this this were you disappointed when you saw these? Yeah, so I think from the perspective of and wow, the, um there's two thoughts here. First thought is yeah. If your intent was to get us to spend more gold because the re there would be more better rewards then this is an, a miss this is definitely a miss because there's no incentive for me to go past that 2.3 million um also there's a second thought where i feel like they're gonna start 
um man I, I just feel like there's just something that's gonna force us to spend gold and they're gonna basically say well at least you're getting some other rewards now for spending that much gold like i feel like that's also a real reality too and we can't put that past them but but, but yeah near miss miss for sure if you're thinking that this made an impact um on our roster this new influx of gold that's coming in um that's supposed to help players to what level up entire teams i guess to year tier 14 and 15 yeah i don't think that i don't, I don't think that influx of gold is that much i don't think they're that generous <laughs> no i i think this is a miss i absolutely think this is a miss and i feel and i'm i'm almost wondering now what are they going to try to force us to spend gold on and what are they when is their thought okay well we're giving you these extra stuff now so that if you do spend that gold that you feel better about it i don't like it all right so i don't know if their intent was to make us spend gold i mean you you, you always with scopely there's always maybe some devious backhanded scheme that you have in your mind that they may be wanting to accomplish just at face value though they said that they're trying to give us rewards so if we base it on that, and and again, we, the audience, we we know Scopely. That may or may not be true, but assuming that's right. true, giving us more rewards, I think the rewards are a little better. I haven't went and calculated it what the previous ones were and what these are, but in these we have we have some orange elite, which is which is decent. You, most of the time, you're not getting a great drop on that, but it's better than uh, better than normal orange orbs. Armory 14 orbs. This helps anybody that's not in Dark Dimension 3 and not in Dark Dimension 4. You're going to need those 14 pieces. So I yeah. think this is this. I think up till up to a certain point, if you if you kept your normal spending in that 1 million to 1.3 and and not let this change your spending habits, I think this is a win. But if 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 yeah. if you come from a perspective of, oh, now we got to spend 4 million just for these just for this stupid L3 training modules or spending 3.6 just for these uh, few ions, it's a miss. It's not worth it. I, I For me, the way I saw this is on those on those days that I'm spending above that 1 million cap or so, when I'm running, I'm racking up characters. I mean, there's there's characters. You take them with level 65 and put that gear on them. You're spending way more than 4 million on just that one yeah. character. I thought it, I saw this as all right. It's for those days. I'm getting I'm getting a little extra stuff. I'm not feel like I'm yeah. wasting totally what I'm getting. I mean, you're not even getting you're not even getting milestone orbs after this 2.3. So I don't no. think they're I don't think they're they're trying to get people to spend this. I think it's just just giving people uh, some rewards if they spend it. But if, if 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 I agree with you, if their goal was to try to get people to spend more, this this doesn't make me spend more. So that would be a miss. But. I'll, I'll assume for now that is that that was not their original intent. All right, uh, I, I I don't know what changed on these. Uh, maybe maybe some of these uh, armory fifty norms being available for yeah. there. Uh, that is good. Other than that, uh, any any big thing any big things that stand out for you for these save the world or for these world warrior milestones. Either either one of these. Nope. Um. Honestly, nothing at all. I mean, the armory uh, the. 15 pieces or armory 15 fragments i guess they're cool just extra stuff that you can grab from these milestones but once yeah. again I, I just don't really think that it's i think these are more of here are nice to have items um for doing things that maybe you're already doing i guess if you spend more then you get extra things that's pretty much basically how i'm reading this right now it doesn't really impact the player base at all yeah i mean i i, I think i, I mean it does it's just it's just not uh it's not a huge it's not a huge impact i think these are minor impacts i like i said i haven't went and looked at the calculations but in general i feel that these i'm looking at these just glancing at these they look like they're a little better than they were previously we're getting uh we're getting these uh armory 15 armory 14 orbs in there i don't they weren't there in the past so uh and this is just like you said it's doing for stuff that we're going to do anyway we're going to spend energy in the game we're already going to spend gold in the game we're going to fight battles in the game so all this stuff is just uh Thanks. free stuff in my opinion and that is it there's some benefits there's some negatives i think overall it's a wash with a slightly benefit where where are you standing with these uh milestone the milestone orb changes all the changes that we saw yesterday yes i think it's it's um it's it's okay um i feel like there's not really any change um to the economy um there uh, not much change to the economy i think it does help yeah. um, a very a small bit to every single player um 
but at the end of the day it doesn't really move the needle much um i think in my opinion i still, still think that there's more that they do need to do to better the the game economy certain things definitely should be bottlenecks i agree um nothing should be easy right there we got to be real about that but at the same time i just know i think that they're really hitting the areas that they need to right now in the game that's really helping the player base overall yeah gotcha gotcha yeah and and as far as the bottlenecks you need the bottle like bottle next make fun when i have yeah. nothing to chase i'm not having as much fun when i have yeah. something to chase that's when i have the most fun so bottlenecks are necessary in a game just not everything should be bottlenecked is uh what right. what you feel gold training mats uh, every every there's like a bottleneck and everything so yeah, yeah but we need we need bottlenecks so but yeah overall uh, they're okay let me know what you guys think though the, is it better and i think this may be beneficial to some players and not beneficial and it may be on an individual basis so let me know what you think do you like these milestones better do you like these orbs better and are you on the fence about these gold milestone characters would you rather have one or is it more beneficial that they're not there let me know your thoughts guys very curious goofy before you go let everybody know where they can find you my brother yes sir you can find me on twitch you can find me on the tube the youtube uh facebook twitter everywhere you can find me goofy rexy nice uh, all rather right unique, rather unique name you can find me yes <laughs> yes and uh, i guess you got to stop by the live streams and he can explain the whole reason how that name came about uh we we might have talked about it in this channel in one of our older videos but yeah go stop by his live stream guys the links will be down below goofy thank you once again and yes let me know what you guys think of these milestones and orbs guys i'll see you guys next time before you go goofy give me that hulk fist bump there it is